Teaching Lego robotics has become my favorite part of the day, and it is the favorite part of many of the students' day as well. But the journey to get the class to this point has been long and difficult. I'm in my seventh year working with Lego robots, and this is the first year I feel I'm getting things right. The first six years were filled with a lot of frustration, trying and failing. But I never gave up on my vision of a fun and engaging robotics class that kids loved being in because I have absolutely fallen in love with these little robots and I believe in what they can be for kids. I'm hoping to use this channel to share how I've done this so that if you are interested, you can see what I am doing, copy what you like, and perhaps avoid most of the frustrations I had to experience to get here. Maybe some of you will even throw some ideas my way to help me improve my class as I move forward. The most difficult part of teaching LEGO Robotics is finding resources that you believe will be engaging and fun for your students. There is just so little out there. Yes, LEGO Education posts several lessons, but most of them are not very engaging for students in my opinion. They either create builds that look cool but don't do much, the dancer, the fitness trainer, which leave kids completely disappointed, or they provide some cool builds, but assume the kids are going to have knowledge or be able to naturally figure out how to make them work, but provide no scaffolding or knowledge base to where the kids can have a chance of being successful, like with Broken. Or there's the delivery cart, which is one of my favorite builds, but is impossible to get go straight without using the gyro because the motors just don't have that kind of precision. I would have to imagine this leaves teachers who would love to provide robotics to their students frustrated because it has sure frustrated me. I haven't posted in a couple of years because I was still trying to find my path to teaching robotics in a way my students can enjoy and feel successful. Here are some of the things I have learned. One, just because it's easy and obvious to me doesn't mean it's going to be easy for 10 to 12 year olds. They are still struggling with things like greater than and less than. Many have never seen negative numbers and don't truly understand how decimals are pieces of a whole number. Each of these concepts needs to be taught, but I'm sure they will help with the kids when they ultimately deal with them in math because they have been using them in robotics with a purpose. Two, you are using Lego Technics. Most kids have never touched a Technic set. Even most of the kids that have a lot of Lego at home have never touched a Technic set. So building with Technics is a new experience for most of the students, and you need to approach their first class as if they have never touched a Technic set before. Three, start very simple and keep the objective simple. Throwing a kid a robot and saying, start solving FLL missions has been nothing but a disaster for me. That type of problem solving needs to come much later when the kids have much more building and programming experience. Four, keep it moving. I finally have enough spike kits that I can pair two kids to a kit and have them build robots. They are generally tearing apart and building a new robot every five to eight days of class. Each new robot gives them a little more programming and building experience. I believe this is providing the scaffolding they need to be successful and that keeps them enjoying the class and wanting to come back. My new plan for this channel is to post all the lessons I actually use in my class. I will post videos for teachers explaining the build I use and the objective I give the kids to accomplish. And I will also post instructional videos of the programming I use so you can teach that to your students as well. I hope this channel can turn into the resource for teachers I wish I had years ago and save many of you from all the frustrations and trials I went through developing my program. So keep coming back to check for more uploads as I keep adding more lessons.